Haven't we all heard that we need to brush our teeth at least twice a day? Sounds super annoying, right? Well, I have news for you. Brushing your teeth twice a day is not even the least you should be doing. There are many things you should be doing to keep your mouth healthy and keep your teeth. Losing your perfect smile is not even the worst thing that can happen to you. Things like gum disease can lead to strokes, diabetes, and heart disease. So, here is what you need to do to keep your beautiful smile, your precious health, and prevent cavities and gum disease. You don't have to do it all. Although the more, the merrier. The least you can do is floss and brush your teeth. Anyhow, without further ado, here is the list. Number one, floss slash water flosser. The best way to floss is to use a tread. Do not snap the tread between your teeth. You want to curve it into a C shape around the tooth. When you reach the gum line, slide up and down a few times, then go on to the next side. Water floss is pretty good too. I personally find it insufficient, but for other people, it is more than enough. You just place the tip of the water flosser at your gum line. From there, turn it on and go between each teeth. Take your time and use mild pressure. You don't want to damage the gum. If you bleed a little when you start flossing, don't worry, it's normal. It should stop after a few days. If it doesn't, you should go to the dentist to get a deeper cleaning. Once your gums are clean, after your dentist's consultation, don't forget to floss every day to keep those gums healthy and blood free. Number two, interdental brushes. My personal favorite. I floss and use interdental brushes. For people who are sensitive to gum disease, interdental brushes are better than flossing. Once you find the right sizes for the brushes, you can apply some toothpaste on the brush and gently slide in and out between your teeth a few times. It should fit in snugly. Do not force it in between your teeth. If it is too tight, you need a smaller brush or flossing might be more suitable. Number three, oil pulling. An ancient Ayurvedic practice which consists of switching extra virgin coconut oil in your mouth for 20 minutes. You usually do this before the first meal of the day. 20 minutes is a lot. I usually do five minutes. Take a few teaspoons of coconut oil Swish it around for 5 to 20 minutes, then spit it out in the toilet. Rinse your mouth with salt water and then again with normal water. Number 4. Brushing your teeth. Place your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle to the gums. Gently move the brush back and forth in short strokes. Brush the outer surfaces, the inner surfaces and the chewing surfaces of the teeth. To clean the inside surfaces of the front teeth, tilt the brush vertically and make several up and down strokes. Number 5. Tongue Scraping We accumulate a lot of bacteria on our tongues. Every morning, before you brush, floss or oil pull, take a scraper and remove the bacteria on your tongue. Don't forget to clean your tongue scraper when you're done. Number 6. Diet. Avoid sugars, sodas, and processed foods as much as possible. Eat the carbs that work best for you. Keep them low unless you are an athlete or have a very physically demanding life. Eat a lot of fruits, greens, proteins, and healthy vegetables. Number seven, get some sun. Vitamin D is essential for our survival. 15 to 20 minutes a day of sun exposure is enough to reach your required 
dosage for the day. Summary: Floss and water flosser, interdental brushes, oil pulling, brushing your teeth, tongue scraping, diet, sun exposure. Less is more. This short book is straight to the point. It talks about sex, nutrition, relationships, fulfillment, meditation, love, mental minimalism, fasting, gratitude, and the list goes on. Everything you need to start living a more inspired life is in here, and it will take only 30 minutes to read. So don't waste time. Get it. As soon as possible, check the link in the description below.